Hi. Did I tell you that we're in an Arctic blizzard right now? Colorado. It's October. Serious Arctic blizzard for like three days. Me and Worm, this is Worm. Me and Worm have just been, Wormy, say hi. Wormy. Wormy. Hi. We've just been under the blankie, haven't we, Worm? Worm's a Chinese crested. She's supposed to look like this. I think she's beautiful. You're beautiful, Wormy. Wormy is so beautiful. Anyway, so, uh, my laptop shut down. Um, <laughs> so, I'm, from memory, I am remembering an email that was on the list. And it was somebody saying that they started recovery in December. This must have been last year now. And in February, they, they said they gained a load of weight. Great. And in February, they got their period. So then they're like, oh, well, I just must be recovered then. And the question that they were asking me was, I'm obviously fully recovered. So why am I still hungry all the time? And I know I've covered this at least 500 times in YouTube videos, um, but I'll cover it again. So gaining weight is not the same as nutritional rehabilitation. Gaining weight is a step on nutritional rehabilitation. Nutritional rehabilitation is when you are nutritionally rehabilitated. <laughs> <laughs> no longer an energy deficit and I, I, I don't know like those of you that read my book and stuff and I've got a blog on this as well energy debt energy debt is also a part of energy deficit so you might think that energy debt just means like the day-to-day -day stuff like oh today I ate less than I may have burned off so therefore I'm in energy debt what you probably don't consider is that there's this energy debt that's just like this long-term thing because it's like when you have been doing that for a long time your body borrows energy from elsewhere other parts of your body so in order to get fully nutritionally rehabilitated your body needs to pay that debt back so i don't know like say if it borrowed some energy from your kidney or something like that or your liver or whatever or your heart heart muscle often gets smaller when we um restrict so whatever all that stuff I, your hair your borrows energy from making hair follicles and your hair thins all like I, I, borrows energy from your eyes whatever i actually do think that my eyesight was worse when i was restricting but anyway your body then needs to pay all of that back like oh right gotta improve the eyesight better give her some energy back to the eyes you know this is usually stuff that you don't know what's going on like my eyesight didn't deteriorate to the point where i was like i can't even, I can't even you know like it was that bad but i just feel like i didn't see color as well like i do think that my eyesight is more vibrant now that i'm fully recovered but all of this all of this stuff your body is just you know it's kind of leaching energy from elsewhere and it tries to do it not to the point so that you actually notice that that's happening so we don't notice that it's happening and we also don't notice in recovery that that energy that stuff's being repaired um there's also you know there's a lot of just general maintenance on your body that doesn't get done when you're restricting food because your body's just like you know it's in holy crap mode the whole time so it's just doing what the least it can it's like putting out fires with the energy that it has and yeah it's not going to spend energy on repairs because energy is very scarce to your body when you're restricting so energy debt is part of your body being like all right got some extra energy now i'm going to repair that calf muscle tiny little tear that i didn't do earlier or whatever it is you know um and you don't know that any of this is going on have no clue that's the amazing thing about the body you don't know what it's doing it's like you know if you go and stay at a hotel and you know that probably in the night there's people doing cleaning and stuff like that but you're asleep so you don't know about it that's like being in your body you don't know about it but there's just stuff going on behind the scenes it's wonderful so with that in mind you have no idea how your body is using energy and what it's using energy for and that's wonderful as well because if you had to worry about that you spend all day actually sitting there being like right i need to send energy to my little toe right now to do something wouldn't you and you wouldn't get anything else done so it's a wonderful thing that your body takes care of all of this stuff when we're in recovery your body and only your body knows how much energy debt it needs to take care of and so that's why for some people it can be months after they've initially gained some weight 
that they really start to get into nutritional rehabilitation. For some people, it can be a really lot longer than that. And for some people, it can be shorter. We don't need to judge. We just need to let our bodies do their thing and they'll sort it out. But this is the reason that I say weight gain is not the same as nutritional rehabilitation. Weight gain is a starting point. Weight gain is your body gathering some stores that it's gonna use to fix shit. So that's great and that needs to happen. Full nutritional rehabilitation is when all of the shit has been fixed. And that is usually when you are going to notice that your physical and or, but mostly mental hunger starts to normalize a little bit. So. The moral of the story is don't worry about it. If your body's telling you to eat more food, just eat more food and it'll all be fine, okay? All right, bye.